Right. Bienvenido a Microdot. To all our friends in South America, welcome to Microdot. We even specially bought some of these big cartoon-like chairs for our guests to, to sit in like this. It's not like a normal shop. You know, like I said, yeah. it's in the industrial zone. Yeah. And you, well, you can see the size of this. The idea is people welcome to hang about in here as long as they want. You know, yeah. it's more like a you know like a hangout, a chill out place where you can just come and look at all this. We're like a gallery almost. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this is it: the Micronaut Boutique, the new Micronaut Boutique, which is Mas Grande. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. There's some of the interesting pieces that we've got. Well, we'll just have a walk around. So, um, over here. You'll, you'll notice that anything that you see in the store that has the Oasis logo on it, yeah. right, okay. is a 90s original. Because, and by that, what I mean is, that is as old as the, the date it came out. That's a 25-year-old poster. Because even though I designed that logo, I cannot reproduce it because Oasis is still on the copyright, right? Okay, okay. So anything with the Oasis logo on is from the 90s. We haven't printed it. Okay. So that's a very popular uh, there and then poster. Color. Yeah. Yeah. Be beautiful. Jill Fermanovsky photograph. Amazing. Uh, the other things we have here, this was taken at the Virgin Mega Store in London the day that definitely maybe came out. Uh, and this is an interesting shot, this, because there's a few photographers there, and you often see shots of all of these three playing. Yeah. But I love this shot because you've got Tony and Griggs in the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What's you, know? yeah. you see, you don't often see that. Nice. Um, 1994, Liam on the tour bus. That was actually the night we met Patsy Kensett in uh, Cambridge, I oh. believe. And we were on the bus. She wasn't with us. I want to say, he didn't sort of. You know, he, he just met her that night. Yeah. That's another from the same session cool. there. This is an interesting shot. This has never been published yet. This is not on the website yet, but it will be soon. It's from the day that we shot, do you know what I mean, in Wigan in 1997. Yeah. Amazing shot. Yeah, yeah it's a great shot, that. It's, it's never been published. Cool. But here we have. The Bonehead came round to Micronaut last week and signed some pieces. Yeah. He did three bits. The Be Here Now print, which, which I did specifically for Bonehead oh, coming. Cool. The um, Virgin Mega Store thing again, which signed it there. And the outtake from Roll With It on the beach. Oh, you see his signature in there. Great. Each one of these comes with a certificate of authenticity, obviously, which I've signed. Oh, oh that's a picture of Bonehead. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a picture of Bonehead doing the signing on the certificate. Cool. Uh, and then, you know, all these are on the website now, pretty much. Uh, all, all shots from back in the day, you know. These, these are more recent ones, which were taken by a friend of mine at uh, when Liam played Lancashire Cricket Club yeah. in 2016, 18. was it? 18. Um, that, that but, yeah, picture. that's the illustration. Yeah, that hey. illustration are going to be uh, exclusive for the Oasis Collectors Group, or are you going so, to sell it? That, that's already sold out. Basically, the way it worked was there was a hundred of them, yep. which I offered to the Collectors Group. I think fifty-five went to the Collectors Group, and the forty-five that were left, I offered to my mailing list, and they went within half an hour. Cool. So, so it's it's a good idea to get on the mailing list uh, because you get advance warning of all things that we're doing, and you can do that. But if you go onto the Micronaut website page, which is micronautboutique.com, mm -hmm. and if you scroll to the bottom of the homepage, there's a, there's a little bit where you can put your email address in and sign up for the mailing list. And if you get on the mailing list, you get to hear yeah. about things like that. Because cool. I've never advertised that publicly because there was none left. Yeah, <laughs> um, you know. Um, 
These here now were back to the 90s originals again. You can tell the 90s originals because it's got the Oasis logo on, you see? Yeah, that, this yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. show, that, that's a 1995. But these are these were never made to be sold. These are creation records, fly posters. You know, there's no there's no web address in the corner, there's no name of a merchandise company. These were meant to be stuck up in the streets to advertise the records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to find one that's in mint condition now, wow. a genuine 90s one is very rare. Wow. Um, so they're they're all mint, absolutely mint condition. Amazing. Uh, here we have Network. Oh, the fireplace oh. off the front cover of Death and Maybe, the actual one. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Uh, from Bonnet from House. House. Yeah. Bonehead signed this one, but this is the actual fireplace that's on the front cover. Cool. Which, which Bonehead dropped off for us. Cool. So that's incredible, I think. When people say, because a lot of people come in here and they ask, can they have the picture taken? That's yeah. why I always say, stand up beside the fireplace. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> this is an original. This is a 1996 poster. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Mega Besides size that, poster, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not for sale. That's mine. No, that's a it's mega nice. size. Just for the exhibition, yeah. Uh, and then we've got bigger versions of the prints that you've seen over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These again here, these are all press ads from the 90s. Again, because they've got the logo on, it shows that we haven't printed those. Those are from the 1990s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are all for the singles. I think they, these sell really well and they look great. I mean, these are, I would gladly ship these to South America. I mean, um, the shipping on it is, well, if you spend over a hundred pounds, I'll ship it to South America for free. Oh, so, cool. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. so if you buy two of them, I will ship it to Peru for nothing. Cool. You know, so oh, yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. So, uh, Bonehead's prints here, you've seen these obviously. These are signed by Bonehead as well. Um, yeah, here's an interesting that. one. Yeah. These are cool as well. Tickets from back in the day, where's this? Have a look. That's from Heaton Park in Manchester. Tickets? The original, oh, cool. yeah, the original ticket for the gig. Ooh. These are becoming very collectible. I know there's a lot of a lot of tickets sold, but if you look at back at the Beatles and Beatles tickets now, that, that's something you can you know look to as a reference for where yeah. these things are going. Um, mm -hmm. They're very collectible because they just look great, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's This one here, on the front of Definitely Maybe, you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a picture of Burt Bacharach, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's actually a record. It's, it's a, a folded record, that, you know, a gatefold yeah, sleeve. Yeah, a gatefold, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that, that's not the actual one, uh -huh. but that is a copy of that. Say, that's an original record is frame. from the right. from the Portraity Music album. Yes, yeah, it's, the, it's the inside yeah. of it. Cool. cool. Uh -huh. So and that and then over here, you see, you t saw in the back, <clears throat> the back there where we keep all the t-shirts on yeah, yeah, yeah. stock. This is all this here. Uh, you know, I want all. Yeah, I mean, it's not just Oasis stuff. That we've just been through the Oasis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah There's yeah. a lot of Verb stuff here as well. Great. You know, this is this was a, a, an amp used by Nick McCabe in the Verve in oh. 1995. Wow, amazing! Yeah, mm. that's that actual one. Wow. That's an original 1995 poster. Yeah. Uh, so Verve work. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what else we've got here. We've got some of this is Verve stuff, cool. and then uh, Super Furry Animals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Ma. Uh, yeah. Johnny Ma. 
Bez. Yeah, Bez. And, and then there's these shots here, which I love, which is all landscapes what I do when I, I go camping in the mountains. Yeah. And I take, you know, this is one. I took this picture was taken from my tent just before I went to sleep up on top of a mountain there. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know they're not as big as the Andes, but yeah. you know, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are still, for, for England, that's as big as it gets. I'll just, I'll just, this is my office. Yep. Yeah. The room I'm in now is my office within the shop. Okay. Because the Microdot Boutique now is much more than a shop. It is the Microdot headquarters. Oh. So there is also my studio where I do creative work. There is down here, for example, is uh, this is behind, this is all behind the scenes. This is where the public cannot come. So if you look here, can you see this? This is all the, the stash of Oasis stuff here, look. Yep. Can you see all that? We've got all this down here. Uh, wow. Comes in here. All this is Oasis vinyl in here. Whoa. Boxes of Oasis records, look. Cool. Love no. it. Yeah. Uh, so, in in my studio then, I've got on the walls here pieces that influence me. And for example, the work of Rennie Magritte here. No. This is what inspired the sleeve for Wonderwall. You see the frame, we're looking through the oh, picture, okay. looking through the picture. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the inspiration for Wonderwall. Uh, this here was the inspiration for Definitely Maybe, believe it or not. Um, oh, whilst yeah. it looks nothing like Definitely Maybe, all these little ideas and things lying about the place. Yeah. The Arnold Feeney wedding by Jan van Eyck, that. Yeah. And also, the inspiration for Definitely Maybe was the back of this Beatles album here. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is the oldie but goldies album. I've got the picture itself framed up here. And I just love the way it was like a fly on the wall. You couldn't really, uh, they didn't look like they, they knew the camera was there, you know. That was kind of where Definitely Maybe was born. Very mm. big time, yeah. Uh, and then obviously all, you know, I'm a big punk fan, so a lot of my work all dates back to that. And, uh, oh, here we go, look, there's some South Americans here. We've got the 1974 World Cup, the my favourite footballer of all time, Johan Cruyff. Yeah. And here oh, the, yeah. Yeah. the Dutch are playing uh, Argentina, so go on. Yeah. Uh, talking of football, there's Brian Clough, who used to manage Forest. Here's an interesting piece. I don't know if you've seen this, that illustration piece of Death the Navy I did. Yeah, you did that's... that for Kyle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... Yeah. Uh, so they're all gone. I'll be doing more for the different records, but that's that's that there. Amazing, uh, amazing. More Sex Pistols. Some of my work from the 90s for Acid House Parties. Yeah. I'll uh, show you into the, the shop itself. Oh, nice place, man. Wow, it's amazing. That's basically it. And then there's just other things I'd like to show you. I'd like to show my South American friends this table that I made. Yeah. <laughs> I made this table myself. Look at that. I'm very proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> And that's, that's basically it. So, uh, any more questions? Cool, cool. Uh, what about the network documentary? Network? Oh, do you know what? It's funny you should say that because uh, it was on at the cinema, you know, in the theatres, but only for two nights in England. And I missed it. I thought it'd be on for ages. So, I only saw it for the first time about three weeks ago. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and me and Jill stayed in and, and we watched it on, I've got this big TV at home, this big surround system. And it just, do you know what? I th and I, I'm in it. There's a, there's a shot of me dancing about in black and white right in the middle. Uh, yeah. And I, because I don't remember anything about the gig. I was, I was at both of them. I don't remember anything. <laughs> I didn't realise it was that good, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. We, we both really enjoyed it. And at one point, Liam actually, he dedicates, some might say, to my mother. Yeah, yeah. Brian's mother, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this this one's for Brian's mum. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I, you know, my mum's, my mum's not with us anymore. She died yeah. five years ago. Oh. So, you know, I had a tear in my eye as well. Yeah, it, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tony, and, Tony and Bonehead of Bonehead. Bonehead was here to switch on the Christmas lights, which I thought was funny. Right. You know. <laughs> um, and Tony helped put the sign up outside down the hill. There's a big sign saying Microdot, which we had to 
<laughs> Tony helped put that up. I forgot it because he's just had a heart attack as well, so he shouldn't be doing any heavy work. And I had him with a big, big hammer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that nearly killed him off. Um, <laughs> But no, Bonehead loved it here because he was. Well, you know, you walk in, it is impressive. It's a big place, isn't it? You know. Yeah, and, uh, amazing. There's there's nothing else like it anywhere in the world. So exactly. I think you'd have to be, even if you thought Oasis were rubbish, you, you, you can't help but be impressed by this. Um, what about your YouTube channel? You put right. one video you... and and that was it. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Microdot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what happened now. Because I am such a perfectionist, you know, it, it took me ages to do that video. It took me a year from starting it to finish it, just to get the lighting right and everything. And I think it looks amazing. And it went down, you know, in no time at all, it had 60,000 views, right? So that was fantastic. And I was going to do the next one, and this was going to be last September. Uh, and it's all about the artwork for Some Might Say. Yeah. But both me and Jill got COVID. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so we were very ill, and that kind of wiped that out. And then October time, we were moving out of the old shop into here. Oh. And then in November, we were finishing all this off. Then December, it was Christmas, okay. you know. And uh, in January, we've just had a new guy starting, so I've been training him up. But it is episode two is coming very soon. And <laughs> I'm hoping to, later on this year, employ somebody else, a new guy will come in, or girl, we're not sure yet, yeah. uh, to help make more videos. So we, I want to be doing them on a weekly basis, one a week, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, mate. Brian, Brian, for the yeah. Latin American fans who are going to the UK, how can they get to your store from, from London? Very, very easy. From London, it is one train. One train, okay. that's it. You go from uh, the station in London called Euston, E-U-S-T-O-N, yeah. Euston Station, and you get one train up to Oxenholm, the Lake District, right? Mm -hmm. And then from there, you can get, you can walk it or get a taxi. It's, you know, five pound in a taxi from there, but that's it. One train from London and you're here. Come see how us. Many Perfect. How many? How many? How many hours are from from uh, well, London to the to your store? It's quite a. It's, well, do you know what? Uh, from London to Oxenholm is probably about two hundred and sixty miles. So in kilometres, probably about four hundred kilometres. Okay, like um, four hours and a half. No, no, no. Two, two, two hours three quarters. Oh, it's a very okay. fast. Oh, it's very a very fast, fast train. Yeah, it? It's yeah. a very good service. Very yeah. good service. Cool. Very fast train. Cool. And you're here, and you get to see the most beautiful part of England as well because you're in the Lake District. So it's not just like you're making all this trip just to see us. There's the the most beautiful part of the country is just here. Hola, to the whatever Oasis podcast on Espanol. Welcome to Microdot. It'd be wonderful to see you all here in person if you could get to see us. But failing that, you can visit us at uh, microdotboutique.com. And I'm sure these guys here, if you've got any trouble with the translation or anything, my friends in Peru will help you out. Okay, so yeah, like I said, shipping, the shipping to Peru or Argentina or Brazil or anywhere in South America is not a problem. And all you've got to do, if you spend over 100 pounds, which is like two pieces or so, Yeah. I will ship it for free. Amazing. 